So several years ago, I built uh, this extension arcade machine. Uh, so I got this from Rec Room Masters. It's a full enclosure that kind of a DIY kit that you build yourself. Um, you know, you use the XRK tank stick on it, uh, and it runs using a computer. You know, you mount the monitor, do everything yourself. Well, recently, uh, I needed to repurpose that PC, and so I was looking into um, some different options, and it hit me that, you know, RetroPie is a real big deal now on the Raspberry Pis, and you can do so much with the newer Raspberry Pis. So what I decided to do is see if I could replace the PC that was in there with the Raspberry Pi without losing any functionality, make sure everything works, uh, without having to run a full PC. Um, the hope was I'll be able to run a Raspberry Pi, uh, get it up and running, and it'll only consume you know, a couple watts of power. Uh, I can leave it on full time and it'll still be a lot cheaper to you know, keep on than the old PC was. And so um, this video is kind of going over that uh, upgrade process, if you will, of replacing uh, the PC with the Raspberry Pi, how I configure the Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is jump over to recallbox.com. I chose to use this instead of RetroPie. Uh, it's very similar, a lot more user-friendly. And so this is just kind of a overview of it. Um, reading up, I found some compatibility issues between the XArcade and RetroPie uh, whenever you run upgrades. So decided to go this route. As you can see, it supports pretty much every game system as well as MAME. Uh, being a stand-up arcade, this is mainly going to be MAME for me. Uh, here you can see it also supports Kodi and Emulation Station, which is basically what the RetroPie runs. If you go ahead and head over to the download page, uh, here you can see they have a version, or they have a download for each version of the Raspberry Pi. I'm using the Raspberry Pi 3, so I'm going to go ahead and download that image. All right, so once that's downloaded, you're going to go ahead and extract it. I'm using WinRAR, and then uh, as soon as that's done extracting, we need to uh, burn it or image it over to our micro SD card. So I use Etcher. Uh, I prefer Etcher. I think it's the easiest to use. And so uh, there's a link on Recall's Box website where you can download Etcher. Uh, it's very easy. You just select the image file and hit flash. Um, so once Etcher opens, we're going to go ahead and load the image that we downloaded. So that's the Recall Box image here. So we go ahead and select that, and then we select our device. And so make sure you're selecting the right device because it will format it and copy it over. So in this case, we want to make sure we are selecting our micro SD card, which I have attached through a USB device, so sometimes it shows up as USB. And then we go ahead and hit flash. And what this will do is this will format the card, it'll copy the image over, and then it will verify the image. This will take several minutes to complete, and so just be patient with this. Uh, once it's done, it will tell you that it's complete. So we'll go ahead and jump to that point where it completes flashing. All right, so at this point, the flash is complete. We're going to go ahead and take the micro SD card out and plug it in to the Raspberry Pi. Plug the Raspberry Pi into our arcade machine. Make sure all the USB cables and everything are plugged in and we'll go ahead and boot it up. All right, so we're doing our initial boot up, a recall box. Just let this boot up here. Uh, we've got our uh, keyboard attached here, and then obviously our X-Arcade. Uh, tank stick. So as soon as this comes up, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, make sure everything's set up. And then uh, we'll have to transfer a few ROMs onto the system uh, so that we can test to make sure all the buttons are working and also verify that the, uh, most importantly, that the trackball is working. Um, so most likely we'll uh, try out some golden tea. Uh, that's the big reason I have the trackball. I uh, love the golden tea games and just 
the ball, the bowling and the golfing games in general. Uh, it's awesome having those, uh, the main setup for those games with the trackball. Uh, the one drawback to this, the button that locks the vertical movement is in the back of the system and we can't access it with this arcade setup. But you can still do uh, full rotation with it. It's just that you can't lock that uh, access so that, you know, even if you veer to the side, it would still go straight. Uh, in this case, if you veer to the side, it's going to slice the ball. Alright, so uh, now it looks like we are booted up. All right, so we've got our system. Uh, let's see, these are all of the systems that are loaded. So let's go ahead and okay. So we've got we've got some demo games to try out here. Uh, let's go ahead and we will start with uh, NES. Let's see what's on here. Uh, no. Okay, so uh, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and grab, I'm not sure if it, I think it is pre-programmed, uh, but this is, I printed this out. So this is actually the um, X-Arcade uh, mappings uh, for a recall box. So uh, if this is correct, I should be able to hit, okay, so that's the menu button. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of that. Let's try A. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so uh, start Cody would be up. Uh, so if we're looking at a normal controller, uh, most likely this would probably be... Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, quit that. Okay, so it does say we have 11 games. Alright, so if we go ahead and hit B, you can access those games. And these look like some homebrew games, so let's just go ahead and uh, let's jump in and see what we have here. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with Lawnmower. So we're going to go ahead and press start. We look pretty good here. Um, obviously, controls working. Our turbo is working. Uh, both, both of our A and B buttons are working. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can exit out here. And uh, the exit would be the left pinball button, which is on the side down here, as well as the player one button. And we're going to go ahead and. Uh, let's go ahead and step back a menu. Alright, so we're, we're back here. Alright, so let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and dump some ROMs onto here so that we can uh, try out uh, some side scrollers as uh, fighting games, some beat em ups, as well as uh, some golden tea. All right, so copying ROMs are very easy uh, with both RetroPie and Recallbox. So all we have to do is uh, punch in the IP address um, into a network path, and there's a ROMs folder. And all we really just need to do is just dump the files into the appropriate systems ROMs folder. Uh, so in this case, I'm only going to be transferring MAME. So we're going. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and start copying over. Uh, some files. Uh, real quick just show you kind of they put these like readme files out there uh, so if you have any questions where you should be dumping your own files uh, just take a look at their documentation. Uh, both their documentation on their website as well as what's actually in these ROMs folders is very good and so we're gonna go ahead and dump over some ROMs 
and uh, jump back over to the system. All right, so we've got some Neo Geo ROMs transferred. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and refresh the game list here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit start. And we're gonna scroll down to UI settings. And then down here at the bottom we have update games list. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that. Hit yes. It's gonna reboot the app, not the whole Raspberry Pi. And now we have a MAME option. Let's go ahead and jump in here. And now here we see some games. So I transferred uh, all the BIOSes. And I also transferred the Golden Tees and the Metal Slugs. So if we go ahead and let's go ahead and launch Golden Tee, uh, Golden Tee Golf 2. Uh, the trackball version, so let's go ahead and see. Let's make sure the game boots first. And then we are going to, uh, hopefully this will boot here. I didn't load the whole ROM pack, so uh, sometimes there's dependencies between games. So a lot of times you have to load the entire ROM pack. Uh, this game, uh, we were good with just the BIOSes. So uh, first thing we need to do is insert some tokens and it doesn't look like the trackball is working. Joystick is obviously working, but the trackball is not. All right, so we've identified the issue. Um, you cannot have, uh, at least in my instance, uh, my keyboard and mouse, most likely my mouse was interfering with the trackball. I think what was happening is it was detect it was basically using the mouse as the mouse and ignoring the trackball and so as soon as I unplugged um, my wireless sensor for my keyboard and mouse the trackball is not working so let's go ahead and just jump into a game All right, so we're in our game. We can swing back and we can swing forward. So this is awesome. The uh, obviously the track, the track ball is working. Uh, so to exit, we're just going to hold in our hot key, press player one. So it'll take us back to the dashboard. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and jump in the metal slug. Yeah, yeah, and the uh, metal slug X. And you will get that scrambled screen at the beginning. Uh, that has always happened to me with metal slug. Go ahead and load up some credits. Press player one. We're going to go ahead and select our player. If I go, we'll just start with our uh, generic player and jump in the game and all right. So this looks this looks good. Our credits obviously are working. And so. Uh, our top left button here jumps for us, uh, right below that, shoots our gun. And then the one below that, or the one next to that, uh, rather, next to the jump button, uh, throws the grenade. All right, and there you have it. So that's pretty much it for a high level configuration of you know the Raspberry Pi on this X-Arcade extension, uh, really DIY kit, if you will. Uh, I'm really happy with the results. Um, definitely excited that I was able to get the controller, all aspects of the controller. 
to work uh, on the Raspberry Pi with Recall Box. And so uh, definitely some more things I still need to do. I still have to scrape all of the games so I can get uh, all the you know screenshots, box art, things like that uh, for all the MAME games that I'm going to work on deploying. So I need to deploy a lot more games in this video. I only deployed Metal Slug and Golden Tee just to test the functionality of the controller. But uh, overall, really happy with the results. And if you guys have used uh, Recall Box before, drop me a comment below. Let me know, you know, if you have any, you know, thoughts or suggestions on key features that I should definitely check out. Um, you know, I plan on, you know, using favorites, things like that. I may look at some other themes, uh, but overall, really happy with the product so far. Uh, really easy to set up. Um, this is my first time using Recallbox. In the past, I've used RetroPie. Uh, lots of configuration that had to happen there. I really like the ease of setup with Recallbox. And I'm going to be building a cocktail machine, um, most likely in the next several months, uh, for my game room, uh, somewhere where I can sit down and do uh, more unboxings and more of a sit-down environment, as well as use that uh, for some gameplay uh, and that one I'll probably put some other retro consoles on it not just MAME but really excited for building a cocktail machine and I think I'm definitely going to go the same route with Recall Box. Um, so if you have any suggestions or anything definitely drop me a comment below and thank you for watching.